Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me. Very excited to have you here with me. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a major chord trick, not just because it's a big chord trick, which it is, it's because you can do it with major chords as well. Now this lesson is, I would say, the most popular lesson uh, for my private students. And also here on YouTube, I've shared this concept once or twice before. Uh, but today what I'm going to show you is in the context of great players like Jimi Hendrix, John Frusciante, John Mayer, Stevie Ray Vaughan. They all use this concept. And I wish I knew that a whole lot sooner. So I hope you have fun with this. It's not too difficult to play. We're basically taking one chord shape moving it around the fretboard, and then I'm going to show you how we can really embellish upon that and add in some really cool licks, and you're going to have a lot of fun with this. Again, you'll be able to move up and down the neck by the time you finish with this lesson, and you're going to have the knowledge to be able to experiment and have a lot of fun uh, by adding in some little, little fills and little licks as well. All right, so let's start with the main concept, which is the A chord. But not like this. We're going to play it like this the exact same chord, we're playing the exact same notes when we play the A chord like this. Now, what we're basically doing is we're taking the big bar chord shape, we're taking three notes from that, uh, so I've got my index finger on five, I've got an itchy nose, oh, I hate that, index finger on five in the B, middle finger on six in the G, third finger on seven on the D. <clears throat> now because we're playing the A chord, we can play the open A, in the high E, just like we do here. And because we start with this chord, all right, we're playing in the key of A, we can then move this shape around and continue to use the open string. So I could move it to here, which would normally be a C chord, if I had to play the bar chord on the eighth, ninth, and 10th fret, the exact same shape. And that works. I could also play the F chord, <clears throat> and this is a great way to cheat the F chord if you don't know how to play bar chords, by the way. You can play like this. And then I can move that up to the 3rd, 4th and 5th fret and effectively play a G chord. Now if I was playing these chords out not in the key of A, then I would normally just play this triad on its own, maybe getting the low E as well. By muting the low A, or the, the A and the high E, like that. <clears throat> but because I'm playing in the key of A, I can invite these open strings into the, to the party. <laughs> All right, so yeah, uh, let's. that's the first step. We're gonna take that a lot further, but let's try and just strum that around, right? The next thing I can do is I can start to add in some different notes, okay, just by using my pinky here uh, on the same fret as my third finger. So in this case it would be the seventh fret of the A and I could add it in to any of the strings really, but I'm going to choose the high E in the B just to, to create some niceness. <laughs> That's the, that's the first two things. But uh, today we're going to make this a different lesson from anything I've done before, is to add the pentatonic scale into the party. So I keep on saying party, I don't know why I'm in a party mode. But yeah, uh, we're going to invite the pentatonic scale in. Now what I want you to do is visualize this little shape underneath this, uh, this chord shape. We've got seven, five, seven, five, six. So think about it like a little 10, if you could imagine the scale picture. This little triangle here. Okay. And then I've got the same thing here. The same thing here. Same thing here. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you two concepts now, two different lick ideas 
that you can experiment with to create something yourself. <clears throat> All right, so a few ideas. The first one is a double stop. Okay, so underneath this chord, I'm gonna do this. And there's two options here, I can do it like this. I uh, hammer on from five to seven with my first and third finger and get in the high E underneath it, the pick. I can stay in the shape here and use my pinky. The exact same thing. But I know when I was starting out that I, my pinky was pretty useless. <laughs> All right, so if you can't do this, you can do this. And again, it works everywhere. So you can pick and choose how you want to play it, but it's a really cool idea. So let's just strum that and add that little double stop in. Now I'm not thinking about any particular strumming pattern here. I'm just kind of taking the idea and, and making stuff up. So you do the same. The thing to know is that when I'm using my pinky, I'm also rolling my first finger over the high E string here, all right? So I'm kind of breaking out of this shape and just rolling my finger over. And then I'm... Like that. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a little gentler. I'm not going to strum as much. I'm kind of going to a little bit of gentler strumming and adding in a few different licks like this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is share another idea, which is hammer-ons and pull-offs, okay, using that same idea. Okay, so basically if you think about this little shape here, if you think about Under the Bridge uh, by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, for example, uh, you've got a lot of these happening in this song, alright? so. Uh, that is using this this idea of using the pentatonic scale mixed in with the chord shape. Okay, so again, we're going to use our index finger here in the bottom two strings. I'm going to hammer on and pull off from five to seven in the high E. And then get five here like that. And then the same thing from seven to five, in the, or five to seven, sorry, on the B and then six on the G. And then I'm gonna hammer on between six and seven on the uh, the G string. And then seven on the D. All right, so really, again, you can do that with your pinky. It's an easier way of demonstrating it, but again, your pinky might be quite useless. So you can add that in. So let's hear how that sounds. And of course, you can add them all in together. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got a lot out of it. If you did, you want to see more stuff from me, then check out my courses. The whole bundle, 70% off right now. All right, guys, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.